Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and this video is part two to how to select overlapping actors in Game Salad. Um, if you don't have the download file, head on over to GSHelper.com, uh, find this um, post and download the project file, then come back. So we have our project file here, and I'll remind you. So basically what we have is um, we have overlapping actors, and um, usually when you select the actor, it will grab them all, but it only grabs the one you're selecting, which is cool. But what we want to do is we want to make whatever one you're selecting look like it's on top of everything else. And as you can see with this, it's underneath, um, and then that one's underneath. So that's what we're going to fix right now. Um, it's very simple to do. Um, what we're going to do is go into the actor and we're going to create an attribute and we're going to call it touched and it's going to be a boolean because it's a yes or no answer touched okay so I'm going to shrink all these rules here and we're going to make a new rule and we're going to say when touch is pressed change attribute self touched to true. And then we're going to say otherwise. I'm going to copy this down here. And we're going to say false. Now I'm going to make a new rule that says when an attribute self touched is true, change attribute self color alpha to zero. And then we're going to do otherwise, and I'm going to copy this, and I'll change it back to 1. So when you touch it, it goes invisible. When you let go, it shows up again. Okay. Now I'm going to take these two rules here, and I'm going to group them, and then I'm going to copy them into my behavior. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to copy this actor. And then I'm going to put it back directly on top. There we go. And I'm going to double click the actor. I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to change this um, the, this rule here, alpha to zero. And we're going to say one and then turn this one to zero. So we're just reversing that. Now we're going to go into this actor here. And I'm going to copy it. Actually, I'm going to delete that. First, we're going to go into the original one. And we'll shrink everything. And in our custom behavior that we made, we'll drag that over here and we'll leave it the way it is then we'll make a copy of this one and we'll put it exactly on top and we'll open it up and we'll go in and we'll change the bottom one again we'll reverse it to one and zero and we'll do the same for the last one we'll go into it shrink everything bring in our custom rule then we'll go, we'll copy it, put it directly on top, perfectly the same spot, open it, and then we'll go in and we'll reverse that last one again. One, zero. And I'll hit save just in case something happens. Now we'll hit preview. So now you'll see the white is on top of both actors. When I select the green, it's on top of both actors. And when I select the purple, it's on top of both actors. So basically what we do is we're not touching anything. The bottom layer we can see, the top layer we can't. So now when I select this one, now or with our rules, the bottom layer is invisible and the top layer is visible. So because the top layer is visible on this one and not these ones, it looks like it's on top even though one of these top ones is actually on top of the white. Um, but because we can't see them, we don't know. And then same with all these. So no matter which one you grab, it's on top. When you let go, see? Pretty cool. Anyways, I hope that helps, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.